Hey, Joe here. Uh, I'm on my way to work. It's uh, early. It's like 8.15 in the morning. Uh, it's actually Thanksgiving Eve here in America. Uh, we're supposed to get some snow tonight, so I wanted to do a little before and after, I guess. Uh, I'm actually on my way to work at the restaurant today. Uh, I don't know if everybody knows this, but uh, you know we do many things for income here at the Sparkling Martin's Ranch. And uh, one of those things is I am a part-time... Uh, cook, I guess you call me, uh, prep cook, line cook. Uh, I'm on my way to the restaurant. Um, I worked there for 16 years, and uh, and I started a toy company, and that went really well the first couple of years. And then with the economy and everything, we had to dip back into the uh, you know restaurant work a little bit here and there. And this summer, I worked there, and uh, now I'm just working a, a couple days a week, not even really. Uh, I've actually taken this month off pretty much um, for the holiday. Uh, shopping, but uh, the holiday busyness for the toys. Um, but uh, you know, this this week is it's a busy week there, so they need me a couple shifts. Uh, so I'm on my way there now. But uh, when I come home, it should be a different scene than there is out here right now. So I'll take a look outside, and you can see that it's, uh, it's just a brown, dreary day. And uh, when I come home tonight, it's uh, supposedly going to be snowing sideways. So we'll show you that later. Hey, so now it is snowing when the snow is coming down. You can check it out. You've already got, you know, a good inch or two almost. It's real heavy. It's real wet. It's probably not going to be pretty later. Well, it'll be pretty, but it won't be pretty out there for people who have to deal with it. I'm uh, heading home now. I got out of work a little early because it's so slow from the snow. And uh, we'll just go slow and steady till we get there. All right. See you later. I just helped some lady. That woman right there was stuck down in that little ditch. I don't know if you can see. I'll try to show some of the. Oh, I dropped my camera on the floor here. Yeah, we'll show some of the. She was. I don't know what she was thinking, but she drove down into that right there. She couldn't get out, so me and some other guy gave her a nice push, and that was it. She was out, so. It's always nice to be able to help somebody <laughs> when you can, you know. Gonna whip in here to Home Depot, get a brand new snow shovel. We got one, but uh, it's always nice to have a second one so you can maybe have one in the car or one, uh, you know, one on one side. We got the two buildings, so it's nice to have one at one building and one at the other. We'll see what they have this year. So, you know, this being the day before Black Friday, or I guess the day before Thanksgiving, um, you know, Black Friday is the next day, so it's pretty interesting to see um, around the corner here, they have all these items. Actually, you can see them down the sh store here. They're covered in black plastic. Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. They got a little, you know, no peeking signs on stuff. Um, so we'll show you one of these in a second. Here. And I think that's funny. They've got all this stuff all ready for, for the holiday shopping spree. Big choice here. We get two different shovels. This older one here is the one I've always used. Ours is pretty beat up. It's probably, you know six or eight years old. You get this newfangled one out now. Um, they're both the same price. And that one's got a longer handle and it's got a more rugged end. I'm gonna go with the new handle. The new, the new bend and the new end. It's got a much more rugged looking tip on it. So we'll go with the new one. So here's some of the Black Friday stuff, you know, they've got, uh, yeah, what is it? Oh, I can tell that's a grill right there, just by looking at the thing. These are all grills right here. I don't know what these are. It's a surprise, snow peeking. They're trying to hype up the Black Friday. It's pretty crazy. Got all the Christmas stuff here. All right, so I got a new shovel. We got an extension cord for just the actual extension cord. We're always running out of them. And uh, we'll go home and check out that snow shovel, I guess, because we've already got a good two or three inches on the ground here. And uh, no, the trees are just amazingly coated here. For all you folks that aren't from a winter wonderland area, you know, you can see from being, looking outside that we are in snow country here. It's pretty crazy. First big storm of the year. Happy Thanksgiving. So 
always fun to share the road with a giant plow. You know, you're driving an inch and a half of slush, slippery bull crap, and then you've got to deal with this giant plow taking up half the other side of the lane and almost yours too, but he was good. He was over. Slow and steady wins the race, baby. Everybody's driving nice, nice and slow, spaced out. You know, I feel bad. These people have been driving for probably three hours to get up here from Boston and Massachusetts, New York, you know, all those areas down there, and just finally getting up to this area. So um, they're probably happy that they're almost here. I mean, you know, not everybody's coming here, but a lot of them will be coming to this area. They're back. You know, and typically, um, you know, we live a little farther outside of town. Um, so the roads get a little more degraded as we drive home. Uh, you know, so when I left work, uh, you know, the roads weren't too bad because there's so much traffic. And right here, they're not too bad really at all. You know, there's some slush on there and stuff. But I'm going to uh, turn this corner up here. And uh, I'm assuming it's going to get considerably worse. Uh, you know, snow coverage, less traffic obviously on the road. I mean, we've got four or five cars in front of me and it looks like maybe just one or two of us is going to turn here so um, you know the roads stay snowy and of course it's been snowing a little bit more since I've been out of work so um, we'll uh, turn this corner and see how bad the roads get. Well, there's not much change right here at the beginning. We'll see when we get around this corner there's a big plow fixing up the driveway here. Yeah, you know, it's a little, just a little more road coverage, but I'm going to uh, shut this sucker off and get both hands on the wheel here. It is awful pretty, though, huh? Now we can see, you know, we're down by my home almost, and the road's very degraded. I mean, it's going to be worse later, but definitely uh you know zero traction everybody's we're like 25 miles an hour here in a car of row of four um and we're going to start to go down this very large hill up here so i'm assuming we're all going to slow way down before we get to that hill um and just kind of crawl down that hill so we don't have to slam our brakes on at all that's when it gets a little hairy when you have to apply brakes or apply gas um you know you start to spin out a little bit um so you just you know dri winter driving tip 101 don't do anything just hover around your gas pedal and don't even use it if you can and you just kind of keep your foot on there and you're just above idle and you just drive and, and you don't try to speed up or slow down if you can help it um, so that's what we'll do so here we are at that big hill uh, the cars in front of me have slowed way down we're going like 10 miles an hour we got you know probably a half mile down a hill pretty steep hill you want to have to be going too fast all of a sudden have to use your brakes hard because you won't be able to steer at all, and you'll just be sideways, and it won't be good. Um, well, we're supposed to get about 10 inches of snow, so we've got two or three on the ground now. And uh, we'll show you something else later on when the snow is finally uh, really coming in later. I'm sure it's going to be uh, a, a, you know, a, a crazy storm as it comes through. and you know, Hopefully everybody's all right out there on their way to travel to Grandma's house for Thanksgiving. So... Uh, be safe out there, people. All right. It's one of the best feelings in the world when you have to drive in a snowstorm, whether it's good or bad, is uh, the feeling of driving up your own driveway. You know you're home. You're safe. And here I am.